Hello, everybody. Grab a Bible if you can and turn with me to the 128th Psalm, Psalm 128. We'll be looking at the last two verses, verses 5 and 6 uh, of this psalm that uh, is about the family and taking care of the family, the blessings on the family, uh, praying for your family, which is really the focus uh, of these two uh, of these two verses. Um, the, these two really focus uh, in and encourage uh, the, uh, the men, uh, the men who loved God and who cared about their family, uh, that they would routinely uh, and often pray uh, for God's blessings uh, on uh, their uh, their family, um, and so uh, it, it is um, even depending on the translation and how it's written. Uh, some of them see it, um, write it, uh, report it more as actually putting a blessing uh, on their family uh, than praying for uh, a blessing. Um, it does appear, even though some translations uh, give that, and the King James is one, uh, what I'm using here today is one who does. Uh, it appears in that translation to be, uh, be a blessing rather than praying uh, for a blessing. But most, uh, most scholars who have studied this and looked at uh, original languages and such context uh, view it more as uh, a prayer uh, for God to bless um, than uh, than actually being a, a blessing and that, that's kind of a fine line between uh, those two and so they uh, they're praying here really for uh, three things uh, that Jerusalem that Zion uh, would be blessed uh, that uh, these uh, men, um, these God-fearing, God-obeying uh, men uh, would have um, long lives and be able to enjoy uh, their, uh, their grandchildren. Uh, and then that finally, not only um, that Jerusalem would be blessed, but then that Israel uh, as a whole uh, would be blessed. And uh, if you think about those three prayers, you see them here, uh, verse 5, the Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days uh, of thy life. And so uh, the first one again is praying for uh, their city, their community, uh, that Zion uh, would uh, be blessed that uh, God will take care of uh, of Jerusalem, uh, and then um, that they would see their children's children, uh, that uh, they would live uh, long lives, be able to enjoy and be part of their uh, the lives of their grandchildren, and then peace upon Israel in the last of that verse. Um, and if you think about those three things together. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to have one without the other. Um, it's kind of hard to have peace for Jerusalem, God's blessings on Jerusalem, if Israel itself uh, is not uh, blessed. Um, and in this situation, you could basically say it the other way around, that if Jerusalem uh, is not blessed, then Israel uh, as a whole will probably be uh, in, uh, in bad shape. Um, and then all of that ultimately leads down uh, to uh, the, the, the godly men uh, being able to live uh, long lives and enjoy uh, the lives of their grandchildren. And it's a great, uh, great example, I think, for us today uh, in how uh, we pray uh, for our families. We pray for our community. Um, we pray for our nation um, because ultimately those two things uh, affect our children and our uh, children's children. And uh, those three things should be uh, 
uh, on the top uh, of our prayer list. Again, our local community, our nation, uh, and then our family uh, specifically that, um, and that, that as the, the godly uh, grandparents, as the older uh, generation, that we would have a long uh, influential life uh, on our family, on our children, on our grandchildren, uh, that we would walk um, in the fear and the admonition of the Lord uh, and, and teach that uh, then to both our children uh, and then, uh, then their children. Um, and again, um, specifically uh, the men, the godly men. Uh, and one of the areas that uh, I am uh, convinced uh, that we have uh, failed uh, as, uh, as a whole in, in the church uh, in the last, I don't, I don't even know how far back you'd have to go, and that is uh, bringing up uh, godly men. Um, the men have uh, somewhat surrendered their position, uh, and the women uh, have become responsible for uh, getting the children to church, teaching the children, uh, and, and men have taken, um, in many cases, the role uh, of the breadwinner and given over that uh, the, the position uh, of the spiritual leader uh, in their homes. And so we need to pray together for each other, uh, for the godly men, for the young men uh, in our families, in our community, to be raised up um, and to be drawn to the Lord and to become uh, disciples uh, of, uh, of Jesus Christ and then uh, being an important factor uh, in the lives uh, of their children. Uh, you don't have to be too alert or too aware uh, to look around us and see uh, the, um, the, the, the condition uh, of young men uh, in our society. Uh, many of them imprisoned, uh, many of them abandoning their family, uh, just run around, got children everywhere, uh, but they're, they're being... Uh, they're the they're the father, but they're not the dad, um, and uh, and so we need to pray uh, that God would intervene in the lives of uh, of the men, um, and that they would uh, come forward uh, and fulfill their godly role uh, as the leader uh, of the home. Uh, one number, um, and, and I may not be exactly right on this, but I'm close, um, is when the man goes to church, when the husband, the daddy, when he goes to church, about 80-some percent of the time, the whole family uh, will come as well, wife and children. Uh, but when the wife is the one who comes to church um, on her own, uh, it's only about 20% of the time, if I remember the numbers correctly. Uh, we cannot underestimate the importance uh, of being godly husbands, fathers, uh, grandfathers uh, in our families. Uh, and today I hope you'll take a moment and pray uh, for the young men uh, that are coming up, uh, the older men uh, who should be filling that role. Uh, the mothers and grandmothers as well, they have an important role to play. I don't want to in any way diminish their position, uh, but we would uh, recognize our role uh, in a godly family. All right, have a great day and hope that challenges your heart.